Hey team, Chef Eric Gephardt here. Welcome to the Butcher's Market Steak of the Month Club. And today we're gonna to be focusing on one of my absolute favorite wild boar shanks. This is a volcano wild boar shank. Notice it's the meat's already pulled away from the bone. Absolutely stunning. And then we've got another style of shank. So this is your offering this month and super, super exciting stuff. I'm gonna show you how to make my favorite recipe with wild boar shanks. Today we're gonna to put a little smoke on the outside, a bit of a sear, and then we're gonna braise them. So braised wild boar shanks. Here we go. First thing we're gonna do is get a grill up to 450 degrees. Uh, now, if you're not using a grill, you can use a pan stove top, get your sear, and then put the liquid in and move it into the oven. But I'm gonna go ahead and proceed here with the, uh, the Kamada Joe. We're gonna use the Butcher's Market House Seasoning to season up these shanks. A Little bit on both sides. And straight on to the 450 degree grill. Whether you're on this tile of grill cooking over natural lump charcoal or inside your kitchen at home, really we just want a blistering sear, a little caramelization on all sides of the shank. Then we're gonna coat with tomato paste. So while these are finishing up here, let's go ahead and prep up some of our vegetables. Basic mirepoix. Carrots, celery, onion, we're gonna add some garlic, and some parsley stems, and some peppercorns. So mirepoix dates back to ancient cooking. These are the rudimentary fundamentals of building flavor while roasting and braising meats. This is excellent stuff. Earthy flavors, sweet flavors, and that onion just brings it home. Now that I've got good caramelization and a base for flavor, on the outside of these boar shanks, I wanna paint a little tomato paste on the outside of them. So I'm just gonna hold this and paint on the outside. And this is gonna bring a little acid and a little sweetness. And I'm gonna put that indirect. And because I am using an outdoor grill, I'm gonna throw a little bit of hickory smoke on there. Toss the wood chunk right onto the natural lump charcoal let it combust, and that's gonna give us some sweet smoke. So again, we're using an outdoor grill, so we're using some smoke here, it's a wonderful thing. But if you're inside in your kitchen, just get that good sear, then put some tomato paste on the outside and sear it a little bit more before we deglaze with our red wine. I'll show you the next move for the grill. All right, so it's been 30 minutes of smoke at 350 degrees, and we're gonna flip continue to cook that tomato paste. Let's check back in another 20 minutes. All right, so it's been 50 minutes in total that we've had smoke going on these shanks, and I love the color of that bark. Let's go ahead and get the container which we're gonna braise in, and let's dump our vegetables in. And we'll add a little bit of oil just to transfer the heat a little more evenly and start to cook these vegetables. We're gonna cook these vegetables for about 10 minutes and then we'll nestle the shanks right in the mirepoix. Put a little red wine in there for depth of flavor and a bit of acid. That's about almost half a bottle. We're gonna go in with some beef broth or beef stock and raise the level of the liquid almost to the top of the shanks. A little bit. Let's just do the whole thing. Go in with our whole peppercorns whole cloves of garlic and parsley stems. Once this comes to a simmer, we're gonna put parchment on top, a little foil, and then close it down and let it run at 350 degrees for probably another four hours until it's fork tender. All right, it's been four hours. It's driving me crazy. This is Christmas come early. Uh, I can smell the aromas. Let's take a look and see where we are. Oh yeah. That is magic. Watch this. I can tell by looking at it. It just, it wow. just. I mean, that's silly. I don't want to. I don't want to beat it up too much. But that is remarkable. So, uh, let's go ahead and pull this meat out and put it on the plate. And then I'm gonna show you a little trick with this braising liquid. It's reduced down, so it's amplified on all of its flavors 
it's uh, it's beef brothiness and and it's wild boarness, if you will. Uh, we're gonna put some of that mirepoix, or those vegetables we cut up together, into a food processor with some of the stock and blitz it up until it's a gravy for the wild boar shanks. Super exciting. Here we go. I went ahead and picked up a side at the butcher's market. They make a really cool kale and Brussels sprout salad. So we're gonna put that right beside. Sometimes for presentation's sake, I like to bring that one volcano shank. Whoa, look at that, fall off the bone. And, uh, and just stand it up in front. And that is a wild boar meal fit for a king and or queen. Uh, all that's left to do is get a fork in it. This looks spectacular. It's amazing how that braise just breaks everything down. I've got a bit of smoke ring on there. Let's give it a go. Wow. Braising is 100% the way to go with this wild boar. And if you were interested in getting into wild game but didn't know where to start, this is a fantastic way to give it a go. It's not gamey at all. That house blend seasoning from the butcher's market pairs with it absolutely perfectly. And I just, I can't imagine how to make this any better. And it's super, super simple. Thanks for being a part of the Steak of the Month Club. I'm your host, Chef Eric Gephardt, and look forward to seeing you next month. Cheers.